Hi guys! Oh, what, what are you? Stay there. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a March favourites for you all. I've not had a, is that my shadow? <laughs> I'm casting a shadow. Um, that legit scared me and then I was like, what is that? Um, today I have a March favourites for you all. I have not done a favourites video for so, so, so long. So this will be my first. I will actually link up here, or whichever side it goes on, um, my last favourites video, which is probably like 2009. That wasn't, um, but it was a long time ago. I've never really had anything that I've been like obsessed with recently, apart from this month. I've had quite a few things. I think being my birthday, there's been a lot. Um, so the first thing, which is a mythical thing for me, is a Ray Dunn mug. So it looks like Eddie, which is good because I have a, a four. Let's zoom in on me. So we we match. Um, I wanted a Ray Dunn mug for so, so, so long, and I have never been able to find one anywhere in any TK Maxx or home since near me, I've never found a single piece of Radon. I went into my local one like two weeks ago and I found this and I was like, yes. So I picked it up like thinking they'd be like sold out in like a day and I went back in two weeks later and there was like ten more of the same mug. But I have one. I'm happy about that. So, coffee brick. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I just love it. It's so big and great and I'm obsessed with it. big mugs because I drink a lot of coffee. As I don't sleep and coffee helps that. <laughs> um, so this month I have been loving Jo Malone products so I have got the English Oak and Red Currant scent. Look like are these. Um, I went in to like get like a, a new scent from Jo Malone because I've had Blackberry and Bay and the... we're just gonna pretend that's not there. and the Blackberry and Bay for like absolutely ages and I just wanted a bit of a change, a bit of a spring scent. So me and my mum went to one and we got this one and this one. So this is a Wild Blue Bell and this is the Body Cream. Looks like this. I have... It smells so good. I have used this all the like, past, what, three weeks now? And it's hardly even dinted, like you can see. I'm not sure what that noise was. Um, what there was noise. Um, so yeah, so these two together, because you can like scent match, I guess, um, and that's what I do. My mum does it too, she has a peony one and the grapefruit one, and she puts them two together, you can pair them, and I pair these two together, and they smell so, so good, and I'm obsessed with that scent so, so much. This is still in the bag, and I don't know why, because I use it all the time, but I put it back in the bag, I don't really know why, I think it's the aesthetic of it, it just looks good. Um, so I recently got into lip balms. I never used to use lip balms like really apart. Oh, oh paper cup. Oh, how? Oh, oh, paper cup. Bloody box. So I've never been like a massive lip balm fan ever really. I've just never been like that into it. My mum uses a lip balm, my brother uses a lip balm. I've never really been into it. And then I recently got one lip balm and I was obsessed with it. And then when I didn't use it, my lips got dry. And they never had that problem before. So then when this came out, I was like, I have to have that. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's English mint and ginger. It smells nothing like either of them, to be honest with you. Um, looks like this. There is a lot in it, but it looks like you can't really see. If you live near a John Malone, that really hurts. If you if you live near a John Malone, go to the store and just put it on your finger because it's really hard and quite thingy, but I don't know if you're gonna have to like make this out, but it's so creamy and like, oh, it's so good. It smells amazing, but it does not smell like ginger and mint at all. Not really, that went on my nose. It's not going well to me today. Um, so that's kind of my Jo Malone things. I do use a lot of Jo Malone stuff. It is quite pricey, but it does last way longer than many of the products like you could buy. It just lasts a long time. Like, I mean like this lasts like a whole year for this one. So it's great in that way. Um, so skincare wise, I've been wanting to get like a new skincare kind of regime going on because I'm not very good at it. Like I do it for so long and then I'm just like, mm. we're just going to pretend that's not there because I don't know how that's happened. Oh, but there's more. Oh, we'll just film like this. Um, but yeah, so I went to, I was kind of like wanting to get high end, not high end. I wasn't really sure. And then I went into Boots. Oh, super drug. It might be super drug. And they had all like the L'Oreal stuff on like special and they had the new scrubs in 
and they were on special and the masks were on special at the time and then this was on special too. I think actually it's currently still on special in boots but I'm not really sure. Um, so I got the smooth scrub in the glow scrub and it smells so good. Now you can see I've practically used the whole thing. There is some left. It smells amazing. It's a lip scrub too. So at night it's like the best thing ever and it really really has helped my skin a lot. I'm not prone to like a load of spots but I'm prone to certain areas on my face that get a lot of spots and it is quite frustrating. And then I've been using the Pure Clay Mask and this is a Blemish Rescue Mask. Blemish Rescue Mask. Don't get anyway. Um, this has a dent in it too. Pretty, pretty dent. It smells amazing. Um, it, it's really nice on the skin. It does take a little bit of elbow grease to get off, but it's worth it. It's really, really good. I really like them too. And this is like my savior at the moment. I get super dry skin, not in the winter, but in the summer. I don't know how, but I do. It just gets so dry, and you can see I've like, you don't know if you can see. It's like here. Um, I've had this for like a month now maybe and I use it all the time. It's the L'Oreal Hydro, Hydro Genius with Aloe Vera, Aloe Water actually sorry. And it's for dry sensitive skin. You can use it alone in the morning and at night after your, alone or after serum sorry. It says apply one pump. I do not do that. I'm like mm, 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 mm. but it's so good. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Um, I would definitely recommend. I've got to start like shaking up. <laughs> but I would definitely recommend that. So why are we on the L'Oreal Pro thing? Um, and I know some of you are probably going to be like L'Oreal's not cruelty free. I have read that it is cruelty free. No, I recently got a blush. I never used to wear blush ever. I was like anti blush. I was like no, I don't want to ever use blush. But I'm obsessed with this one. It smells like peach and it's called Life's a Peach. So you guess it would smell a bit peachy. It smells so good. It did have like a little flower. Well, whatever that is. Uh, it did come with a brush, but I took it out because I didn't really use it. But it does come with a mirror. And I really like that because you can put it in your bag. I like that. It's so good. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can really see. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, with this. This is the life-changing most amazing highlight I've ever used in my entire life. I like to glow. You can see that. I like to be glowy and highlighted 24-7. So when I got the Laura Gallup Gilded Honey, it is Gilded Honey, yeah, I was like, is it going to live up to its expectations? So I have a really big din in my, like it used to be like a little dome, no it's not. So that's it on my finger and swatch. It is amazing. It's the best thing ever. I really shouldn't do that because I'm going to end up covering it. I just rub it off onto, onto that. That's fine. That's all good. Um, so I would definitely recommend that one because I love it. Um, another blush, but I don't use it as a blush. So Kat Von D came out with this, which is an eyeshadow and blush. And it's the Lolita eyeshadow and blush. Just said that ten times. Um, one, and it looks like are these. I'm, I will swatch it, but I'll probably regret it. So it's like a gorgeous, like, mauve colour, you can see. It's not the best swatch, but um, it's super pigmented. But I just, like, you can see, I've tried to rub it and it just doesn't. Um, I should not have done that. I will regret that in a minute when I get all of myself. But, um, yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I wear it all the time on my eyes. I am wearing it today, if you can see. You probably can't really see. Um, it's not funny anymore. So many noises. Um, but I'm obsessed with this. I got this from Debenhams. I'm pretty sure it's limited edition. I don't even get it in, I'm pretty sure you can get it in America. Um, but I got it on Debenhams in the UK and it came within like a day. So, can't complain. So the last two things, no, one behind me. Three things behind me, I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'm not a mascara person. I am a lash girl. I wear lashes every day. I am obsessed with lashes. I swear by them. I don't have long lashes like at all. Why am I doing this? Um, but I recently got the Paradise Ecstatic Lash from L'Oreal. My mum got it too and it is literally the best mascara I've ever used. And I will admit like I'm not one to just wear mascara by itself. But I have been doing with this. Like on the days where I'm just literally just like I don't want to put like a full a face on. I will wear this and I'm obsessed with it. It makes me look awake. I don't look like I have no lashes. It is amazing. I would definitely, definitely buy this again. And my mum loves it too. So it's good for everyone. And then this is just, oh, I 
basically watch too many Harmony Nice videos because I like how she has the little dots and stuff. She does like little hearts and stars and things and I'm obsessed with that. And um, I got the NYX White Liquid Liner like this. Looks like that. Just like a tiny, tiny little brush like that. And I tend to do this every day. So I have like one here, one here and one there. And then the inner corner, I just do like a little thing so it makes my eyes like super, super bright and I'm obsessed with that. I don't know if you can see behind me. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, I'm not a good sleeper. You can't see that behind me, but that's what this is for. I don't sleep very well at all. I never have done. It's not a big problem for me. I'm creative at night. I tend to edit at night and it's not a problem. So for Christmas, my mum got me the Neom like a sleep set. There is this too. This is like a body wash. And um, so I use these every night and I've really been obsessing with them. So this is like a hand and body cream. So I put this on my hands mainly and I don't tend to put on my body because I always got different creams for that. This is a sleep, like a pillow mist and I swear to God this is like the best thing ever. I spray this all over my bed and my pillows before I go to bed and then it's like oh, it's so peaceful. I love it. And then I have the candle which is lit and it's the scent to sleep one. So that's chilling behind me. So yeah. I don't want to move it because I think it's real like the flame's like real high. So, oh my, it's getting like pointier. How do I stop that? Uh, the last thing on my favourites this month, and this has been my favourite for months and months and months. I literally just ran downstairs to get this and I'm knackered. I'm so unfit. It's horrible. It's bad. Um, so yeah, so I really have like a paranormal thing. I do think this house is haunted. I do think my house is haunted. My mum does, my brother does, this weird stuff happens a lot and I will be making a story time about that because I do have a paranormal series on my channel if you didn't know, I do. I'll link that somewhere. And so yeah, so I like to cleanse the house and especially my room. So I bought this little sage stick from Amazon and I keep a little um, gypsophilia flower just there. So I got this from Amazon, I think it was like seven, eight pounds and it comes with the the, uh, the smudging dish as you can see and the sage stick now when people come in the house because I keep this downstairs they see this and they're like what is that it's sage Duh. so yeah I'm obsessed with sage in I love the smell of it my mum and my brother not so keen it smells like Christmas stuff in a little bit but I'm obsessed with it I love it it keeps it just makes me feel better and more cleansed I just personally really like my sage stick it makes me feel Relax. Thank you all so much for watching. Please comment on this video what you'd like to see. Follow me on social media. All my links are down below. Please subscribe to the channel and just it means so much to you when you do. It really, really does. Thank you all so much. Um, I will be uploading my new story time, which is a paranormal one on the Hinsdale House tomorrow, which is Friday the 6th of April. So today's Thursday and this should be going up today. That, that is the the thing tonight to up, to upload this. Um, so yeah, so is that a seagull? We don't even have seagulls around here. That's weird. Uh, so yeah, sorry, got interrupted by a bird. Uh, thank you all so much, and I will see you all soon.